Today we are going to discuss the Tucker Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research services at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned, vert, on a bend engrailed argent, three human hearts ghouls, crest a human heart ghouls, encircled within a crown or belong to several different branches of the family, including the Tuckers or Tukers of Maddington and County Wiltshire, England. They descended from Sir Giles Tuker. He was created a baronet. He was born in 1625, the son of Edward Tuker of Maddington and New Sarum, who was the son of Giles Tuker, recorder of Salisbury, son of Charles, son of John, son of William, all of Maddington. And there was also an Edward Tuker, a lawyer and member of Parliament for Salisbury, who was the eldest son of Giles Tuker, born 1558, a member of Parliament for Salisbury. Also, Charles Tuker of Abingdon in Berkshire, son of Charles Tucker of Maddington, and he himself had issue including two sons and two daughters, and Tucker of Moorgate in West Riding, Yorkshire, Charles Tucker of Moorgate, had brother Thomas Tucker, alive in the year 1685, who was master of the company of Cutlers, and the son of Charles Tucker of Moorgate. Very similar coat of arms and crest for Tucker of Ospring in County Kent, England. There was Philip Champion Tucker of the Oaks in Ospring, born 1802, the son of Edward Toker, born 1778, son of John Toker, and Philip himself had son Major General Sir Alliston Champion Tucker, who was born in I'm sorry, who died in 1936. Ghouls on a chevron argent, three tunes, sable between six garbs and satire or said to be for Thomas Tuker, Sheriff of Exeter in the year 1638, son of John Tuker, who was executed in 1611 for having murdered his wife. Avert a chevron argent between three seahorses, crest and eagle rising. This was born by Ichabod Tucker, born 1765. Uh, he lived in Salem, Massachusetts. He was a lawyer, a descendant of Benjamin Tucker, who was the son of Robert Tucker, who died in 1688 in Massachusetts, but was born in England. Azure Chevron between three seahorses Argent. Thomas Tucker, born 1628, uh, buried in Kildare, Ireland, the son of John Tucker, who was born in 1602 in Moore Wenstow, in Cornwall, England. Same coat of arms, the crest, a forearm cooped vestor, cuffed and set, argent holding in the hand an arrow proper for Sir Edward Tucker, alive between the years 1791 and 1841. He was an admiral in the Royal Navy. He had descendant Francis Tucker, Esquire of Dorset Square in London, also by the Tuckers of Welling and Canterbury in Kent and of Wolverhampton. There was Reverend S. Tucker of Welling and Wolverhampton, alive in the year 1861, and John Tucker, a glass and china dealer in Canterbury, England, who was born in 1794. Here we have Asher on the chevron between three seahorses argent, as many hearts ghouls, crest, a demi seahorse, regarding argent holding between his paws, a like heart. For Tucker of Corrington Park in Devon, William Tucker of Corrington was Sheriff of Devonshire and the son of William Tucker of Westwater, who died in 1733, who in turn was the son of William Tucker. And he himself had son Benedictus Marwood Tucker, who had sons William Tucker and Marwood Tucker, who was vicar of Hartford Coombe Van Ottery and died in the year 1846. Here we see the family estate of Corrington Park. We have a quarterly coat of arms with the crest being a lion's gammy race ghouls holding a battle axe argent handle or for Tucker of Milton in Kent, England. George Tucker of Milton, born 1560, studied law in London and was searcher at the ports, a merchant, son of George Tucker, son of William Tucker of Throle, and also by Tuckers of Bermuda in the West Indies. There was St. George Tucker, born 1651 in Bermuda, son of George Tucker of Milton, and he himself had sons Francis, George, David, John, Daniel, Henry, Robert, William, Samuel, and Mansfield. 
one of these sons, Captain Henry Tucker, born 1683, inherited Port Royal and built a second residence there known as the Grove. Later came Colonel Henry Tucker of the Grove, seen here, born 1713, a merchant politician and militia, militia officer who helped Benjamin Franklin steal gunpowder for the rebel army during the American War of Independence. Very wavy of eight, Argent and Asher, a chevron between three seahorses or quartering Monroe and Jenkins. Granted to Fanny Monroe Tucker, the sole daughter and heiress of Lucius Tucker of St. Mary, Jamaica, and of Brick Hill in Buckinghamshire, England, who died in 1792. She married Charles Beckford Long in the year 1795. Same coat of arms for Tucker of Sealingham in Pembrokeshire, Wales. Richard Tucker, thought to descend from Thomas Tucker, a captain in King Edward III's army, who was granted land in Sealingham. And Richard had son William Tucker of Sealingham, who had great-grandson Owen Tucker, who had son John Tucker. And here we see Sealingham House, I believe, the family estate. And again in the modern day. Another Tucker coat of arms. This one featuring a chevron embattled and counter change ore. And worn by several different branches of the family, including Tucker of Exeter and Devon. Uh, there was William Tucker, a theological writer, Archdeacon of Barnstable, son of Captain William Tucker of Exeter who was son of Robert Tucker, Alderman Mayor of Exeter in 1538. Also Tucker of Woodland in Dorset, Hugh Tucker of Woodland, son of Robert Tucker, who was mayor in 1538. Sir Andrew, I'm sorry, Captain Andrew Tucker of Tenterden, who died in 1680, son of Richard Tucker of Brixham in Kent. Also Tucker of Helland in Cornwall and Lamerton in South Tavistock in Devon, descending from Stephen Tucker, who died in 1637, son of John, both of Helland who was son of Stephen Tucker of Lamerton, who was the son of John Tucker of Tavistock, and Tucker of King's Nympton in Devonshire, Edward Tucker, Esquire of Reeds and Hemets in the parish of King's Nympton, was born in 1793, the third son of William Tucker, Esquire, a banker in Exeter, and Tucker of Tremattin Castle in Cornwall, Benjamin Tucker, secretary to Admiral Earl of St. Vincent and Surveyor General to the Duchy of Cornwall, son of Benjamin Tucker, a warrant officer in the Navy. And Benjamin purchased Tree Matten and constructed a house on the site of a former castle and had son Jebediah Stephen Tucker, born 1800, who served as a justice of the peace. Here we see Tree Matten House. Another for Tucker of Midsummer Norton and Dalting in Somerset. John Tucker of Midsummer Norton, alive in the year 1671. Also the Tuckers of Betchworth Castle in Surrey. There was Abraham Tucker, born 1705, a philosopher, author. He purchased Bet Betchworth in 1727. And he was born in London, the son of a wealthy merchant who descended from the Tuckers of Somerset. And here we see Betchworth Castle and its ruins. One for Josiah Tucker, born 1713. A cleric and economist who was dean of Gloucestershire, born in Wales, the son of a farmer who inherited a small estate near Aberystwyth. Swith. Tucker of Farrington in Berkshire. There was Gabriel Tucker of Farrington, born 1630, son of Nicholas Tucker of Sherborne, son of John Tucker, a merchant in Exeter. This one has crest a demi horse holding a trident all proper. Or on a fess azure between three fountains, as many lion's heads erased to the field, crest on a wreath of the colors in front of a cross satire flory, or a lion's head erased proper, collar gold. For Ernest Victor Tucker, born 1870, living in Rhodesia, formerly of Wheatstone, in Lintwarden in Herefordshire, England, the son of Harry Tucker. Or, and this is the last slide, or five fusils in Fess Azure, each charged with a sinky full of argent, crest a demi man proper, habited and cuffed azure winged ghouls, granted to Robert Toker, alias Pennington of Thorncombe and Devon, Marshal of the Four Courts in Ireland, and Vice Constable of Dublin Castle. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer genealogy research service, high-resolution digital JPEGs, and heraldic merchandise such as t-shirts, posters, and mugs. Like and subscribe. Link in the description. Thank you very much.